Today I'm going to demonstrate how to use JAWS with the Outlook, Microsoft Outlook application for email. Uh, first of all, of course, you should have your JAWS or other screen reader active. Um, this is currently running JAWS, but if it is running NVDA, most of this should work the same because these are all Windows commands. Um, as you can see, my Outlook is um, up and running. Um, and if you can't see, well, I just told you the Outlook is up and running. So what we're going to do is um, suppose I want to create a new message. Uh, I'm going to do a Control N. There we go. So now I'm in an untitled message. Uh, what I'm going to do is I, f I want to add somebody from my address book. I'm going to do an Alt and a period. All period. Select name, colon, global address list dialog. Search colon edit, hyphen X, alt plus X. So this is where I can search for somebody uh, that I want to send a message to. I'm just going to search for myself um, as an example. So I'm going to type in my last name. N-N-O-W. Okay. And I know that I have been selected because I know that I spelt my name right um, and that I'm the only snow in the address book. Um, for this particular um, instance. However, um, if I want to be absolutely sure that um, I am the one that is selected, what I can do is I can use my arrow keys. Extended select list box. So, left name, so, name, yeah, left so what I did right. is I used the down arrow and then the up arrow again to, to make sure that I had myself selected. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is hit enter, enter and that puts my X, own X, X. that puts my own name in the to field. I could add somebody else by searching for another name, but I'm not going to right now. I can just hit enter to add myself to the message. Enter, title, message okay. Uh, the next thing I'm going to want to do is move to the subject of the email to enter a subject. Uh, what I can do is I can either tab until I hear subject or I can do an Alt U to take myself directly there. I'm actually just going to tap because to me it's it's uh, it might be just a hair faster to do the Alt U, but by the time you do that, you might as well have tapped twice. But it's a personal preference thing. Um, perhaps my subject is going to be hello. Okay, so that's my subject. A subject of a message is just one or two short words to let the person know that is receiving the message. Uh, what the message is about. It could be hello, it could be today, it could be anything that the subject, that the email is going to be about. It is not your whole message. To go down to where you will write your whole message, you're going to hit tab again. Uh, edit. And here you, you'll hear it say tab edit. Now I'm actually just going to type have a great Thanksgiving because tomorrow um, is Thanksgiving. Um, if I was done with that message, uh, I would send it. Uh, just so that you are aware, if I was not done with that message and I wanted to save it to come back to it later, I would do a control S to save the message. If I wanted to send the message, I'm going to do an alt S. So I'm actually going to send the message to myself. So I'm going to just do a alt S. Give it a second. Um, and uh, look, I have mail. Just so that you're aware, I keep hitting the control key to make JAWS kind of be quiet so that I can talk to you and so that you can hear me. Um, I'm going to open that message. Um, I haven't moved my focus from the inbox. So to open the message, I'm going to use the enter key. From okay. yeah, I'm going to to read the whole message. I I'm going to use an insert down arrow. Have a great Thanksgiving. Any snow teacher of the visually impaired. And that's just my signature that you didn't see me write it, but uh, I have it set to always put a signature in my messages. So there's a couple of things I can do with this message now. I can reply to it, which means uh, I could reply with a. Actually, either one works, either Alt-R or Control-R. It doesn't matter which one you use. Some people use one, some people use the other. Um, I'm replying, and uh, what's nice about replying to a message is that I am replying to the sender. 
I do not have to go through the steps of adding somebody from the address book like I did before. And I would write, and I'm uh, immediately in the body of the message, so I'm going to type, you too. Okay, and then I'm going to hit send again. So Alt S, and guess what? I'm going to get another message. Alt S, you replied to this message on 11 slash 26 slash 2014. And of course, the, the classic uh, question is, well, now I have this message, and it's open, and now what do I do it to uh, delete it? There's two ways you can delete it. You can escape to get out of the message. And then just use the delete key, which is located in your six pack right below your insert key. And as you can see, it takes me right back to my next message, which is also from me. And I'm going to open that with an enter. And I'm going to do a insert. Down arrow. I did an insert down arrow. It took me. It said teacher or you too, uh, which is the message I got. Now, suppose I wanted to forward that message to someone else. I would do. Oops. I would do a control F actually. Sorry, my bad. To forward it. And then I would start my whole process over again. All period. As you can see, it's entered an F, uh, an indicator that it's forwarded message. If I don't want to change my subject, I don't have to. I'm going to use my um, tab to go down again. Um, this is what Amy said about Thanksgiving. And if I want to, oh goody, I'm going to send another message. Okay. Oh look, I'm getting another message. So I forwarded this message. I'm going to show you the other way to delete an open message from your inbox. Uh, Control D will delete the message and take you right back to the folder that you are in, which of course at this point is my inbox. Uh, I'm going to do an uh, enter to enter the message that I opened or that I was sent. Enter. Okay, there, and then I keep just hitting that control to make Jaws be quiet. Again, if I want to delete the message, escape, and the delete key, or I could do a control D to delete it. So that's a very short explanation of how to deal with some very common email uh, email processes using a screen reader. If you have questions, as always, get a hold of me. I'll be here all week.